Hello again viewers. I'm going to take you for a little tour around the area where I live and the locals that want to live here in the future or do live here. This is a bit of a tour for you too. My dear wife has left something on the bonnet of the car. Let me go out and get it off. She does the washing, puts it on the bonnet of the car. I have to get it off. How's that for an exciting start? Wow, who would have thought that was going to happen? Could have put it on um, funniest home videos as well, maybe. Or silliest. Okay, so I live in Butterfly Drive, Kalanga, in Queensland. It's in a Moreton Bay Shire, in the Moreton Bay Shire, I should say. Not far from Brisbane. And we're going to take you for a drive the beautiful area where I live, all the way to the Westfield North Lake Shopping Centre. Now that will be a drive around the shopping centre area, not into the shopping centre. I might do one of those another day and I hate shopping in shopping centres. So it's not something that I'm looking forward to. Now, it was a sh shop down the local Bunnings hardware store or somewhere like that, or a restaurant. Yeah, that'd be great, but yep, I'll take you for a little look, give you a bit of a verbal guided tour. I might throw up a few words too when I'm doing some editing, if necessary. But I don't mind having a chat. If I chat too much, turn the volume down, or I'll see you again sometime with another video, hopefully. So, but hopefully you stay till the end. Take a few minutes. I live less than a couple of k's or about a mile from the shopping centre. We've got lots of other shopping centres around where we live too. I actually have about a hundred metres from a shopping centre but super boring, nothing to see there. It's tiny but really handy when we get old and grey if we're still there. Very old and grey I should say. Already old and grey now but older and greyer. Um, so, yeah, just excuse my driving, I have a four-wheel drive, so sometimes roundabouts, yeah, if I can get across the middle of it, that's okay. Just the way I go, this is quite a common area for units and that's not somewhere I'd want to live because it's a little, probably a little bit too busy and a bit, a bit too many people that I probably wouldn't want to live with. I like quiet areas, where we live in Butterfly Drive, the bottom of Butterfly Drive, really quiet, really good neighbours, it's a freaky area. And for that reason, you got to cherish it. Yeah. Okay, I'm turning left into Anzac Avenue. Um, this is Anzac Avenue. Anzac Avenue is very long, but we're heading towards North Lakes, which is a left turn. And it's not far away. Very close. As we get closer, it generally gets busier and busier and busier. It's a ridiculously busy uh, shopping centre, you can get there by bus, drops you right at the front door, one of the many doors, I, wouldn't, I think it's the front of the shopping centre, which faces North Lakes Drive, we will be going there later, but we're going to go off Anzac Avenue and into the shopping centre through that entrance, mainly because I go that way most of the time because it's got Ikea there, well, pretty well walk into an Ikea whether you want to go you know the bottom level or the top level and then you can also go down to my bank which is Suncorp for the local people and Kmart's there but it's really it's a shopping center that takes up so much room I'm not saying it's the biggest shopping center in the world but it's pretty big but it just goes on forever and if you don't check it out first try and find out where your shop is that you want to go and where you're going to park and where you're going to enter it can take you what seems like all day and you end up with a really sore feet and really just sick of it um that's a nice place really nice shopping center and and this is a quiet time of the day and as you can see the traffic's already getting poop high as i would call it yuck and this is going to be one of many drives a few people do 
tours around our area here. It's pretty boring, I suppose, but I just most of my subscribers, if not all, are, 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 you know, well, not all, but most of them are from America, the United States of America. Wonderful people, a lovely country, and I'm just not sure what you know of this part of the world. Uh, a bit like America, Australia's hard to get into unless you're filthy rich or have a great skill that's wanted by this country. Um, apart from that, yeah, very difficult. And you've got to be rich to live here, I think. It's a very expensive place to live. Uh, we own our house, so that makes it easy for us. Okay, this is an exit still on Anzac Avenue. Anzac Avenue goes all the way to the ocean, to Redcliffe, which is probably 20 minutes drive from here. There's this area has got everything you'd ever want. It's got all hospital services, medical services, Im medical imaging services. It's post-operative care services. It's got every shop you could think of, whether it be in the shopping center or not far away. I'm going to show you up the top. This is it's only a couple of levels, but I'm going to show you up the top. And it's supposed to be 20 k so I'm not too good with speed limits. And this is going to show you where you would park if you want convenience of wonderful parking without, you know, it's never full. Plenty of places, you can go inside or outside depending if you want to park in the sun or not. And straight ahead, you can go straight into the top level of Ikea. If you'd gone downstairs without going up this ramp, you would have gone into the bottom level of Ikea. Also, once you go in, Suncorp's down there, Kmart's down there, there's an escalator. Take you down or up. Beautiful shopping centre, very modern, hasn't been there that long. Probably on par with something like uh, Mall of Asia or something in, in Manila. Mind you, I think the Mall of Asia was more opulent, which was an amazing surprise to my wife and I when we were there. Now it says way out, and you can go a way out that way, but what I'm going to do is I want to show you a little bit of the outside of the shopping centre. So what we are, we're on the top level here, which is just car parks, car parks, car parks everywhere. Why you'd park all the way over here, I don't know, but maybe Christmas time you have to, just to squeeze in, I'm not sure. Please excuse my driving, there's no one here, so I don't normally just stick to the road. It is a four-wheel drive, remember? You know how four-wheel drive drivers drive? I think they own the road, yeah, well, I don't, but... I'm not overly careful about what I go over. It's got a lot of ground clearance in this little Land Cruiser. So I'm going to go downstairs, hopefully. Hopefully all the, the roads are the way they should be and not no one's working on them. I'm going to go downstairs. And from up here you can go down two places. You can go down on either side of the shopping centre. But I'm going to go down where we started. Go through underneath, it might get a bit dark on the on the visuals. And then I'm going to go out right near where we came in off Anzac Avenue. Show you around the other side of the shopping centre as much as I can. Put in a new kitchen in our home and uh, got it from IKEA there and did it myself. Turned out great, good stuff. I know they got a massive Ikea in the Philippines too. They're certainly around, free and stuff, at a great price. So we're just driving under where I drove up on top before. This is where you come if you want to have a big stressy moment. When I say that is when you park your car, uh, can you find it again? On the right here, you probably can't see it, but on the right's where where we went up above that and that's where Ikea is, the bottom level where you pick up your stuff once you purchase it. Once you get used to uh, how to do all that rigmarole, it's a bit fun now. Looking through here, car park's an outside car park here. You can go in there and go into Aldi and uh, 
um, well, the post office is there. There's, yeah, there's the million shops, Coles, Specsavers, Coffee Club. It's beautiful in there. I'll take you in there one day for a bit of a look around. Especially in that area, it's we a, an amazing food area, Court. It's just, when I say amazing, I'm not talking about the food. Remember, I am in Australia, it's a little bit expensive here. Um, but it's, it's in fact, it's the way it's set up, it just looks fantastic. So this is really a tradesman's entrance. It's probably where most of the trucks drop off their stuff. As it says in front of us here, Coles Receiving. So we're going to go around and look at where you can enter from North Lakes Drive. So you would have gone up, instead of turning in where we turned in, you would have gone past that and taken the next left and then the next left and you would have been in this car park here, which there's so many car parks, it goes all the way along here. I like where I went because it's, well, you've got to make sure you've got the shops there though, of course, but you want somewhere where it's not too hot in the summertime, you don't have to walk too far because it's, it's a hot area here, really hot. As I said before, if my talking annoys some people, you know, what I find personally annoying is when you watch videos like this, drive around videos, and all you hear is the car, you know, and they got the wind air down, so you hear a few noises, and then what you hear is music playing. Oh. So... I've got to get through here somehow. It says keep clear. It won't be easy. Because in Australia... Thank you. Thanks, mate. In Australia, people don't give way to anyone. They tend to be rude and aggressive drivers. Not all of them. People like me are the exact opposite, of course. So in front of us here, there's all medical businesses, there's so many things. This is scans the number plate. And if you've been here more than, th I think this shopping centre is three hours, some are three hours, some are four, some are two, um, they charge you. It's, you know, you can't use it as a car park, it's meant to be there to go shopping, of course. But so down here, you just got lots of specialty things, very much a medical area and how good's that not have to go all the way into the city which is an absolute pain you, know, you got a couple of banks down here you got the library a million things I don't even know what they are so I'm not really a shopper um, so if you can see anything in the camera enjoy I'm by myself today so I'm, I'm not really doing a lot of looking while I'm driving Good way to have an accident. I know I've been there before when I was a young fella. I I ran up the back of a car once and hey look, I think I picked the perfect person to run into. He had no insurance, complete no hoper. But yeah, trying to deal with him, it was very difficult. It became a bit of a costly process. But we won't go into that one. That's the past is the past, isn't it? So yeah, look, we got lots of things here. There's, I think they call it the North Lakes Hotel coming up here. Might even be there on the left. I'm not sure. Oh no, there it is, North Lakes Tavern. I've been in there. Meals start for a very basic meal, about 25 bucks, $25. If you went to, say, the Philippines, Thailand, the same meal quality-wise, or possibly even a tick better, maybe three, four, five dollars in the same currency, it's just crazy. The library is on our right there, it's not much sense showing the outside, it's a fantastic library, gorgeous inside, just over the top really, but yeah. This is an external drive around, there's just so many stores around here, um, you know, fishing type stores, fishing gear, sporting gear, there's another alley, that's two alleys we've seen. That's a, an our medical home. That's where I go to a doctor there occasionally. One of the, well, I think the only bulk billing doctor in the whole area. And it's cheap. It's free. But you've got to be prepared to sit there for 
oh look if you were incredibly lucky hour and a half normal to sit there for two and a half hours it's just the way it is even if you get there first it doesn't seem to make any difference um, all done you don't talk to anybody it's all done on your phone through an app times are a changing but nothing to complain about they're all good there's the two Filipino doctors there the doctors there there's 20 something doctors in that place that um, revolve on rosters and none of them are Australian doctors you just, I can't remember the last time I saw a doctor from Australia it's probably for one reason it's um, one of the ways you can get into Australia if you're a doctor there's not many professions that we really have to scream out for but but doctors I think computer software programmers all that or software designers I mean um, what else would there be are doc uh, nurses teachers we all we're all screaming out for those so you know if that's something you can do here and you're qualified and you want to come to the country it's a point system fill out the application form and they can just say no but beautiful place to live um, if you're working um, and certainly if you own your own home like we do it's so much easier so what I'm going to do I'm going to go home a different way I don't see much point in taking you back the same way um, what you do is just go back on that Anzac Avenue and just do a reverse back Anzac Avenue Duffield Leslie back home and the butterfly easy peasy as they say so quite welcome to look at the signpost so I forgot to look at that one thing is that important so here we have Endeavour Boulevard it runs well just about through this whole place and you can get lost easy easy peasy so use no, uh, what do you call it nat sat nav while you're here save your life so we're going to go home this this will be a way there's a massive area down here industrial area uh, where they have massive big buildings that are have massive big shops in there like bunnings like office works there's just so many things it's just there's literally hundreds of them and very popular and again a good place to get lost people complain about the traffic in other places well it's if you came out now people you know eight o'clock in the morning when people going to work and if it was school time with all the school school kids getting taken to school it's horrible traffic 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 but have a look at our roads beautiful absolutely beautiful quite a new area it's oh, when I say new this whole area started our house was built in 2005 and houses have been around the area um, yeah probably since the 80s I'd say something like that um, you can pick those then you see a different house yeah oh very old style and we're in a uh, you, the house we're in is very modern we have a pool, it's just a beautiful area here. Anyone that wants to live around the North Lakes Kalenga area, um, we're possibly even just about to go into Dacobin's another one. It's really nice. Um, I say just be careful about living in areas um, with units. I just, well, personally, I just don't, I would not live in a unit. I've tried that once. And uh, yeah, people who need people live in units call them condos overseas I love privacy I just like that bit of a gap so building another shopping center hotel across the road there no one can afford to drink in this country so I don't see the point they go broke every day of the week so we're nearly back home again now 24 hour McDonald's there we only live probably a oh, a kilometer to a kilometer and a half from here so we just did a big circle and as you can see nothing really to complain about with the roads they're about to turn this road system here into two lanes either way so just to, just it does get really bad at the as I said before at the wrong time 
So I can go down and show you our little shopping centre or go down our road. I'm not sure what to do. I might take you down Butterfly Drive, so the top end of it. This is the oldest end of it, and we live at the latest, the last houses that were built at the other end of it. Very elevated, gorgeous area. And seriously, the people are just weird. I'm not saying all the people in Kalanga are brilliant, but around here they tend to be really nice, as you can see, very high up. A little bit of smoke around at present, but it's what they do in Australia, especially here in Brisbane area, which we're, that's looking out at Brisbane. And that's where the smoke is, is they burn off all the time to stop bad bushfires uh, erupting by the, you know, all the, the litter, as they call it, at the, in the bottom of the trees. They, they burn it all off, burn all the dead grass off that dies at this time of the year when it gets a bit cold. And they burn it all, which creates a lot of smoke. Brisbane's in a bit of a hole. That's why it floods, that's why it also the smoke sits there. It just hovers, you know, it's like a basin. We're not there. We're, I don't know what, we'd be in a straight line from there, probably 20 to 30 kilometres, somewhere in the middle maybe. And it's just different. It's much fresher air here, beautiful, clear skies. Um, nothing to complain about other than it's a bit too, too, bit too good. Yeah, a bit too too nice I'm just not used to it, I've lived next to some terrible near some terrible people before and around here I just don't, I don't know if there is any so for new homeowners brilliant, the thing is that the prices of houses here have just gone through the roof um, there's a house sold we got the notification yesterday as they do a letterbox drop and it, it sold for $860,000 and it's nowhere near as good as our house so Okay, I'm nearly home. How about that? Well, you're all going to know where I live now. Maybe I'll have to put a, a, an edit thing over the number of my house. This is our house here, covered in solar panels. Haven't paid for electricity in well since we've been here. Okay, so I really enjoyed your company. It makes a difference when you have someone to talk to, and a bit different to my usual videos, isn't it? So I hope to catch up with you soon. My wife's not home yet. She's normally parked to the left there. And she's not home. Where is she? Maybe she left me. No. Sad, sad, sad stuff. I'll get over it. Catch you again. I'll do one probably to Redcliffe soon. That'd be exciting. The ocean. It'll be a drive, and then we'll go for a walk sometime in the future, but have a great one, day, night, morning, afternoon, evening. Thank you, and see you again. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.